Hey. 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 Hi. Hey. 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 Tawa pala si Neo. Okay. Hindi ko alam bakit. Hindi ko alam kung bakit ko ito ginagawa. I, I, bakit may need ba for this kind of video. But uh, just have one question. Was there ever a time that you wanted to quit on something? Dumating ba yung panahon na gusto mo nalang sumuko sa isang bagay? I think para dun tong video na to. Kasi ako... Oh. I wanted to quit vlogging. I wanted to quit sharing my story. I wanted to quit YouTube. I think that's the reason for this whole story, no? That's the purpose of this video. Backtrack muna tayo and uh, konting life update na lang din, no? Bilang, uh, here I am again on YouTube. Really sharing with you guys what happened and uh, my thoughts, my history with vlogging and why I started. Why did I stop? Or why did I want to stop vlogging? Bakit ako dumating sa point na ginusto kong itigil yung vlogging? And I think ang sagot doon is just um, this one word. Purpose. Because yung purpose ng pag-vlog ko, yung purpose ng pag-share ko ng story, eh hindi na tama yung purpose. At hindi na rin yun yung initial purpose ko why I started vlogging. Now, if you've been following the vlogs, if you've been following this channel from the very beginning, from the very start, alam niyo naman na I started vlogging when I was a flight attendant. And the reason why I really started vlogging is that gusto ko lang ng creative outlet. That time talagang lipad, bahay, kain, lipad, bahay, kain. Paulit-ulit lang. That was just for one year when I was a cabin crew. Masaya siya, masaya siya. But the creative soul in me, the artist in me was dying. Hanggang sa sinabi ng friend ko, nung sin nag-share lang ako sa kanya, sabi ko, I want to do something creative. Help me. Help me. Sabi niya, why don't you try vlogging? Pinakilala niya si Casey Neistat and I, I was sold, sabi ko, game. Pero ano naman ang isi-share ko? So sabi niya, why don't you share your, your flight attendant life, a day in the life of flight attendant, and the rest was history. <laughs> yeah, I think yung first video ko, a day in the life of a flight attendant, I'll link it down below. Yun yung first YouTube vlog ko and it's the most viewed video to date. And the reason why I created that video, the reason why I shot that video and shared my story, is basically sharing and to have that creative outlet. It's basically it. I wanna create. I wanna create content and I wanna share stories. So don't you like start? Boom! And I was surprised na yung flight attendant content, the cabin crew content, and I enjoy nyo ng viewers ng initial audience ko. I'm so grateful for that. Kasi parang yung purpose ko of just uh, creating content and just uh, to have a creative outlet na appreciate ng ibang tao and uh, we're asking for more videos about it. It was validated na parang, uy, kaya ko pala mag-share ng story. Kaya ko pala ibahagi yung buhay ko. And people would somehow relate. Pero dumating ako sa point na habang nag-grow yung subscribers, habang nag-grow yung uh, family, yung network, habang nag-grow kayo, Namamali ata yung direction ko, namamali ata yung sense of purpose ko. Imbes na mag-focus ako sa pagbahagi ng story, sa pagbahagi ng buhay ko, or to relate with you guys, mas nakafocus na ako sa views, sa pera, sa subscribers, sa monetization, sa fame. Everyday chinicheck ko na kung ilang subscribers na ba yung nakukuha ko, nag-grow ba ng mabilis, nakukumpare ko na yung sarili ko sa ibang YouTubers na nagsistart that time. Na parang bakit mas mabilis yung growth nung kanya, gagayaan ko yung ginagawa niya. Mas maganda naman yung ginagawa kong content, bakit mas pinapanood yung kanya kaysa sa akin. Wala namang kakwenta-kwenta yung ginagawa niya, bakit yung akin, sobrang effort ko, e eh walang nanonood masyado. It went on for months, years, and I was frustrated. Sabi ko nun, anong kailangan kong gawin upang malaman mo I was asking myself, Ano kailangan ko? I was... Tinatanong ko na yung sarili ko, Anong kailangan mong gawin para mapataas subscribers mo, para mas mamonetize mo yung videos, para mas pumasok yung engagement, para mas sumigat ka, para mas makilala ka. 
So I had to step back a bit. That time, di ko pa alam ko ano talaga yung dapat kong gawin. So I became a Christian that time, 2018. So there's this fire in me where I just wanna share Jesus. Sabi ko, thank you Lord, may bagong purpose na yung vlog ko. May bagong purpose yung channel ko. I wanna share you, I wanna share the gospel, I wanna share the word, I wanna inspire others, I wanna, I wanna be able to lift others up using this channel. That is good, that is good. That desire that I had to really share and be an inspiration to others, that is good. And to share the gospel, God's word, that is good. But it was hard for me to admit that time na may latak pa rin talaga na, Lord, I want to use you for clout. I want to use you for, I want to use your name in vain. I want to use your name because I want to be famous. I want to use the word so people would notice me so people would say how oh you're such a perfect christian ah napakabait mo naman bata ah napaka wisdomful mo naman tao may ganun papala sa akin nun kahit hindi ko amin sa sarili ko God saw that God knew that may maling purpose pa kasi may maling intent pa kasi iba yung ugat at iba yung gusto kong maging bunga that time, sobrang kini-question ko na si Lord. Hindi ko alam kung anong gagawin ko sa channel ko. Hindi ko alam anong gagawin ko sa, sa journey ko with YouTube, with content creation. And I just wanted to stop. I just wanted to quit. Then, He opened the doors for me in theater. Nireveal sa akin ni Lord through my friends that I had these dry bones. Yung dry bones, yung mga pangarap at yung mga dasal ko na hindi ko na dinadasal. Kasi parang Lord, hindi naman ito mangyayari ito eh. And that is being in theater, and that is being an actor on stage in the performing arts. So, kung napanood yung iba kong vlogs, actually mga latter part na ato tunong vlogs ko, na nag-start ako mag theater 2019 with the best of the best, and I'm so happy, and it's so unbelievable kasi si Lord ang nubukas ng pinto. So, yun, I decided, tigil mo na mag vlog kasi nakakaubos. Tigil ko mo na tong content creation kasi hindi na ako masaya. Tigil ko muna to kasi parang iba na. Iba na yung desires ko for YouTube. Iba na yung iba na yung nagiging gusto ko. Hindi na siya yung nag, hindi pa ba? Hindi na siya yung hindi na same yung purpose eh. The purpose and the reason why I started is just to have a creative outlet. And sabi ko kahit one subscriber a day lang, ayos na po ko. Hindi na ganoon eh. I'll just quit for now. May parenthesis for now. Pero hindi naman sa totally nag-quit ako kasi nag upload din naman ako once in a while. Or pag, if, if I really wanna document something and then gusto kong i-vlog, kung may event ako gusto kong i-vlog, I'll vlog about it and just upload it on YouTube without even checking the comments or um, getting engagement. Para kasi may push and pull relationship kami nung, nito, nung, nitong YouTube, tung content creation. That time I was doing theater, sabi ko parang gusto ko rin i-share yung life ko in theater but I want to find the right heart. Gusto ko tama na yung puso ko to share. To share my life with you guys again. And, ang amazing lang, life update na lang din, God has been opening doors in the theater industry, like, door after the other, from Dirty Old Musical, Pamilya Maleta, The Quest for the Adarna, and Trumpets, Joseph the Dreamer. And to be able to share the stage as a newcomer with the best of the best. Si Lord lang yun. And, this is me sharing because hindi mangyayari yun kung hindi dahil sa kanya. It all happened because it was all God. And dun ko lang nare-realize na you'll just know something is from God when there's peace, when there's no envy, when there's no doubt. Alam mo galing kay Lord. And in a snap, kaya niyang gawin anytime. So yun yung naisip ko sa YouTube. Yun yung naisip ko sa vlogging. Ang dami kong effort na ginawa. Sobra-sobra pang yung effort ko doon kesa sa mga in-effort niya sa'yo. Ang <laughs> dami kong effort na ginawa, wala nangyari. Because going back, the purpose and the intent and my heart wasn't in the right place. And I was using God for clout. I was using God to get those desires. Then this pandemic happened. And on my free time, pag walang inu-host na show or walang work, I would watch vlogs. I would re-watch my vlogs. Papanoorin ko yung mga cabin crew vlogs. Papanoorin ko yung travel vlogs or yung show logs or um, the five a day. Parang may nagsaspark sa akin. And tinatanong ko si Lord, Lord, tama po ba? Should I, should I go back to vlogging? Should I go back to YouTube? Should I go back to creating content again? Hindi pa siya masyadong clear 
Pero every time, every time I watch, may spark talaga, may desire talaga. Checking my heart kung nasa tama ba talaga yung purpose, nasa tama ba talaga yung intent ko ngayon to share my life again, to share life with you guys again. And okay lang ba sa akin if wala masyadong manood? Okay lang ba sa akin if walang engagement? Wala masyadong comments? Okay lang ba sa akin if may mambash? Okay lang ba sa akin kung hindi masyadong tumaas ang subscribers? But then there's still that spark. Then, nung nakapag-decide ako, okay, I'll just go for it. I'll just go back to when I just wanted a creative outlet. Doon na lang ako babalik, Lord. Gusto ko lang ng creative outlet ulit wherein I can share stories. I, I can tell stories. Then, yung life mentor ko shared this devotional plan sa Bible app. Kaya kung download yung Bible app, promise, it changes lives. <laughs> Just gonna share this. Remember that Jesus laid out this principle for us. It is the person who is faithful in the small things who can be entrusted with bigger things. So many of us are trying to get there, wherever there might be. But when we get there, we're not ready for it. The great tragedy would be to live your life waiting for that moment to come instead of living your life preparing for when that moment comes. What I have seen over a lifetime is that from our perception, we wonder why God hasn't given us the opportunities we long for. And from His perception, from His perception, He wonders why we chose to be unprepared for the opportunities he placed right in front of us. I was already asking and praying for God to give me that big influence. But I can't be faithful with the small influence that I have, that he has blessed me with. Yung mga taong nag message Kuya, kailan ka po ba mag-vlog? Napanood ko pa yung iba mong vlog. It, it inspired me in a way. If I can be faithful to them, hindi rin ibibigay ni Lord yung big or great influence that I was longing for. And I was asking God, bakit hindi mo po binibigay sa akin yung opportunity to grow sa YouTube? Bakit hindi mo po binibigay sa akin yung chance to break through dito sa online world? I was asking Him that having the wrong intent, having the wrong purpose. Noong mga panahon na hinihingi ko yun, He was preparing theater pala for me. He was gonna open doors for me sa theater. So that I would realize that I was asking God for opportunities, for breakthroughs. Nothing wrong with that. You can ask God for breakthroughs. We can ask God for breakthroughs. But having the right heart for it. And I guess um, this is me reintroducing myself to you too. To you. If you're watching this, kung mabot ka sa part ng video na to, thank you so much for watching. Right now, I just want to share my life. I'm tired of trying to be this perfect Christian mabait na dude na aspirational na gustong maging good influence sa iba and yet pag may struggle bigla na lang babagsak because I don't want to acknowledge that I was struggling and was, I was trying to have this perfect image online I was trying to have this perfect facade sa YouTube Here I am reintroducing myself in. I want to share stories. I want to share my life. I want to connect and relate with you. I don't want to be that perfect guy. I don't want to be a perfect content creator that I was trying to be. I just want to be someone who can connect and relate with you. Be your kuya. If you want advice, lagay lang sa comment section. If you want me to share something, if you want to teach me something, kung may, namal, kung may mali ako nasabi na share, I want this channel to be God's channel. A channel that he will use and to share with you guys that I'm just a guy who has an imperfect life. Who's journeying with a perfect God, with a perfect Jesus. And, yun lang. Hi, I was Neo and I tell stories. So I guess that's it. <laughs> See you guys.